What's up Explorers? I'm Jeff from the Cloud Explorers and welcome back to the Microsoft AI Advent Calendar, the Winter Party Exploration Series. It's time for the already 23rd episode, just two episodes to go. So let's go ahead and drum rolls, open up box number 23, content filtering. All right, so today we're gonna explore content filtering in Azure Open AI. Um, and let's just dive in. So initially, as with the other topics, it, this topic is also covered under Azure Open AI service documentation on the learn.microsoft.com. And this is a great start. So that's what we're gonna do as well. Uh, important thing to note about content filtering is that it is right now not applied uh, to the whisper model in Azure OpenAI service. So uh, the content filtering isn't applied to prompts, completions processed by the Whisper model. So that's something to keep in mind. And then we follow up with what is content filtering? Well, content filtering is a system uh, aimed at detecting and preventing output of harmful content. And on top of the harmful content prevention, uh, Azure OpenAI service performs also monitoring and detection of content and behavior that could uh, be basically against the terms of use. And content filtering is one of the uh, elements that's quite effective, uh, is considered as an effective approach to responsible AI when working with generative AI models. Content filters uh, um, content filtering uh, has currently four categories, which is hate, sexual, violence, and self-harm. Um, and it's been tested in a couple of languages, but obviously not all of them. Feature is in preview. So we have English, German, Japanese, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, and Chinese. It should work in other languages, but the quality might vary. Um, and next to the um, uh, four categories, uh, which are described here, I'm not gonna read everything out to you guys. There are actually three additional models, uh, which is one, the first one is the jailbreak risk, which, we, which can be enabled separately on top of the category filters. The protected material text and protected material code. Protected material text is uh, describes the lyrics, articles, recipes that are um, uh, have copyright attached to them. That's basically it. And the protected material for code is the same thing, um, but for uh, programming code, source code, basically, from public repositories. Um, and um, we're gonna get, get, wow, we're gonna, play around with the filters, but to be able to do so, we need to generate fake, hateful, or uh, uh, malicious um, content. And for that, I do want to make sure that everybody understands this and understands this warning that the severity tab, which is what we're gonna use, we're gonna use actually the examples that Microsoft provides uh, in this document can contain, it contains examples of harmful content that may be disturbing to some readers. So uh, in this case, viewers. So viewers, please be advised if you do not wish to be confronted with this, just turn off the video, please. So let's jump into the severity definitions. And for this example, I want to use the hate and fairness level a severity level, not going into the other ones. They're very, they're the same in setup. So if you seen this one, you know how to do the rest. Um, and we have a couple of examples here. We have the safe. We have an example text for safe. We have low example text for low with a definition, medium, high, and etc. We go into the other ones as well. So we're going to use this one. Um, so let's swap to our Azure OpenAI and actually go ahead. So the content filters, again, preview, as you can see, are noted on the left and they are uh, grouped together with block lists, which is something that we're not gonna cover today, but just 
keep in mind and the, um, we can create them here. So it's very simple, just click on create. Um, with regards to code, I haven't found any API for PowerShell, whatnot, uh, any Bicep or Terraform or even ARM codes to generate the configuration of the content filter. So I assume that part is not yet available. I couldn't find it in the documentation either. If you have by now, um, please drop a link down below. I would love to see it, but as of the recording, I couldn't find any. So um, configuring them, give it a name, uh, test content filter, um, winter party. And you can see all the four categories and you can separately attach them to the prompts and the completions. We're gonna look at prompts because that makes uh, the chat a bit easier uh, for me to show. And you see the default configuration. So if you do not have any content filters, um, this is actually applied and I'll show you in a second where. And we're just gonna play around with hate and we can put it all the way to low, all to medium. And the text is re really well done in my opinion. It shows allow low, block medium and high. And here allow low, uh, medium, block high. And the other way around is block basically all three of them. And as you can see, there are checkboxes, but they are um, uh, grayed out. And this is done because by default, we cannot disable them. If you do want to disable them, there's a page. I'm gonna link everything as usual down below. And it's the how to configure content filters with Azure OpenAI service. And it has this very nice note here saying that if you want this to be disabled, approval is required for tuning content filter partial, turning, uh, turning the content filter partially or fully off. And managed customers may, on, uh, may only apply for the full content filter via this form. And then there's a form uh, for this. Uh, so that's the important thing to note. So let's see um where we can configure them further so we're gonna leave this one let's put it on uh as strict as possible we're gonna block low medium and high gonna go next so these are the additional models that were that i just mentioned this is the next step where we can configure them jailbreak protect material text protect code we're not gonna go into them right now i did some experimenting with them but for me, they feel a lot preview-ish still and, and needs more detailing out. So maybe something to revisit in next videos because I do like, especially the code one, I'm really interested in that one. Uh, so maybe some content for the next video. Simply go next. You can add any block lists if they're available. Well, we don't have any, again, you get a review and finish, create the content filter. You see it's created, but it's not yet used. You attach content filters to deployments. So simply click on deployment, add it to the deployment. And this is what I was talking about default. You can see the content filter is on default. And that's exactly how you just saw the values uh, exactly in the middle of, of the slide bar. Um, and we're gonna get our test content filter winter party, save and close. That's it. You simply uh, modify the deployment and go to chat. Select our manual deployment. That's here. And let's just test the hate uh, safe um, setup and see what it says. So you can see I'm getting an answer. And let's go to low where you apparently the as a test do not like a specific identity group. I'm not gonna specify this, there's no point because it should run even without specifying any group as well. Um, so here you can see right away, the prompt was filtered due to triggering Azure OpenAI content filtering system reason prompt contains flagged as hate low. So this is very, I really like the way they did the message. The message feedback is quite decent. Uh, it gives me a reason why, uh, well, it gives me the reason and it gives me the flag. I would probably want to see maybe a bit more if there's more text that it would highlight which part is blocked. But for now, yeah, for preview features, it is right now. I think this is quite good. 
and then there is a learn more obviously which should bring you back to yeah, exactly the content filtering page that we're looking at and let's just go all the way to hi and select that one go to our chat and we should get the same result and we can see it's not just flagged for um, uh, hate but is also flagged for violence and bow tie so let's go back refresh and modify our content filter and put it all the way up to high so remember that the middle setting that you see that's the default one if you don't select a content filter leave the rest of the options as they are updated the content filter copy paste our low example and you can see that it the a model still says it doesn't want to engage or promote any content uh, uh, content that expresses or promotes hate speech or discrimination but the filter itself is not triggered so um, and we should be able to see that in uh, oh sorry in the raw json that it is not triggered um, let me check content oh no we can't see that here so that's something that definitely needs needs to be checked through calling it from api which is out of scope for today at least um, so this is a very easy way of uh, showing you how the filters work. If you want to um, attach additional uh, level of filtering on top of the um, default one that's already being taken care of by the model, this is the way to do it. Um, so let me double check. So there's a very good explanation here with the scenarios how they work through API. Uh, again, not gonna cover it because it's been quite uh, extensively done in the article as well. So if you're interested into playing around with an API, um, go ahead and follow the examples that are done here. And if you want to configure it yourself, this is literally the guide that I followed uh, with regards to uh, setting it up. Ah, and one more thing to mention. So this is kind of hidden in this uh, in this table. So the protected material code and the protected material text is only applied to completion. So initially I asked, for example, give, uh, give me uh, the lyrics of the, uh, oh, Song uh, Unforgiven by Metallica, just as an example. I hope, oh yeah, I even ruined the band's name. And sorry, you can't do that. How about I summarize the song instead? So basically, it's not allowed to do that uh, because it's copyrighted, and I couldn't get the um, uh, content filter to trigger. And that's because I later on uh, found out that the jailbreak one is applied uh, for prompts and the uh, material uh, code and material text are applied to completion. Something uh, to um, yeah, uh, keep in the back of your head when you're exploring this feature and not waste time like I did trying to figure out why it's not working. And that's pretty much it on uh, content filter and Azure OpenAI. They are at the moment quite easy and quite simple to configure. So not much more to say. If you would like to see more uh, on Microsoft AI, check out the previous episodes. And if you and so obviously subscribe if do not miss the next one. Um, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, download the shit of it. Um, Again, thanks very much for watching and see you on the next episode. Bye.